at Wealth Dynamics. Hope you're having a good day. It's about 6.30 a.m., just finished up at the gym, driving home, and I wanted to give you a really quick message today on uh, the truth about how whole life insurance really works, okay? And the reason I wanna hit this is for several reasons. Number one, uh, I think life insurance is something that's really misunderstood. Uh, and this isn't from the standpoint of it's a really good product and everyone has a bad rap about it. I'm saying in general, most people just don't understand it. There's good ones, there's bad ones. I don't think people are really aware of that. Uh, and then the other thing too is, is you know, I used to be a Dave Ramsey uh, endorsed local provider or smart vester, if that's what you want to call it now. They changed uh, just right before I left. And so I used to be totally against whole life insurance. I used to talk about buy term, invest the difference. So I want to talk to you about that too, because I think there's a lot of people out there that have listened to Dave Ramsey and Sue Zorman, uh, and, and they've heard, you know, the horror stories about whole life insurance, which by the way, I want to say are 100% true, right? So here's the first thing in the realm of life insurance, there's probably like six or seven different kinds of life insurance. So when somebody's like, you know, I don't like life insurance, it's kind of like saying, I don't like vehicles. All right, well, is it Ford? Was it Chevy? Is it Toyota? Like, which one do you not like? Because you can't tell me you're just never gonna drive a car. Like, there's gotta be something wrong with one that you drove or saw one time and you didn't like that one, okay? So there's tons of different options on it. And so I wanna make sure that that's understood. Now, on the subject of whole life insurance, here's what whole life insurance is. It is a permanent life insurance, meaning that you have a death benefit your entire time, uh, your cost is fixed, your insurance uh, death benefit is fixed as well. And so basically like it's gonna cover you till you're usually 121 years old or 100 years old, depending on how you put the policy together, right? Different than term insurance, which is you know, you're covered for 20 years and you're done. Different than universal life, which is you're quote unquote covered for your entire life, but your cost of insurance goes up every year and eventually you're not gonna be able to afford the premiums and the policy will lapse. So there's, there's differences there, but whole life insurance is gonna be fixed cost. Uh, it's gonna be level coverage. It's gonna be for your entire life. That's why it's called whole life, all right? Now, as far as death benefit goes, like if you're just trying to buy a death benefit, whole life insurance is a terrible way to go. The reason why is your cost of insurance is entirely too high. Now, I'm not really like, I'm a life insurance guy, but not really. I don't like to tell people, hey, I'm a life insurance agent because that's really not what I do at all. I don't own my life insurance because it has a death benefit. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Uh, honestly, I think that's an emotional pitch that most insurance agents use to get their clients to buy things uh, because they scare them into thinking what's gonna happen if you die. I hate that. So when I'm talking about whole life insurance, I'm actually talking about using it as a savings vehicle. Now, here's how this works, guys. Within whole life insurance, there's also probably six or seven different ways you could design a whole life insurance policy. Okay, this is the part not many people know. So you'll hear Dave Ramsey say, hey, whole life insurance is expensive. You're gonna have zero dollars for the first three years in your cash value. It's, it's not gonna grow very much. Uh, if you die, you lose money. You only get the death benefit, not the cash value, et cetera, et cetera, right? Those are all true statements, 100% true if the agent designs it that way. Okay, because here's the thing, when you buy a whole life insurance policy, you've got two things going on. You've got your coverage, which we just talked about, and then you have what's called your cash value. That is the liquid savings account that is attached to the policy, all right? So when an agent writes a policy, the client doesn't know this, but the agent literally gets to choose how much of the client's money is gonna go to death benefit costs and how much of that client's money you're gonna go to cash value. The more death benefit cost you have, the more, a the more the agent will get paid. The less death benefit cost you have, the less money the agent will get paid. Guess what? Most agents, their quota is based on how much death benefit premiums they can bring in. It's not based on total premiums, it's based on what's called a base premium, which means if I'm an agent working for a New York Life or a Northwestern Mutual or a whoever, and I have to produce a quota based on cost going towards death benefit for the month that I sell to my clients, and you tell me, hey, Jerry, I wanna put $1,000 a month into this life insurance policy. If I'm trying to hit my quota, guess what? I'm probably gonna put all of your $1,000 towards the death benefit, because that's how I get paid, and that's how I hit my quota. Now, for me, that's not how we design policies. We actually don't have quotas because I run the company, okay, and so we don't have quotas based on base premiums, and also, we put as little money as possible towards the death benefit. 
The reason why is when you do that, you maximize your cash value. So if you're really trying to use a whole life insurance policy the right way, you would actually be focused on owning as little death benefit as possible. You don't want a ton of death benefit. You want to have as much money going towards your cash value as possible so that you can actually earn dividends and use that money to go invest, pay off debt, uh, whatever you want to do with it, right? So what you need to know about whole life insurance, if the agent chooses, they can make it to where you have a bunch of money in the cash value and the policy grows and it's a great savings tool. Or they can make it to where you don't get anything in the cash value. They make a huge commission and all you do is pay for a death benefit. And you're never going to know the difference because they're the ones that run the illustrations. They're not going to tell you, hey, I could have done this. Instead, I'm showing you this. They're just going to show you what, you what they show you and say, here's your insurance quote. And then you're not going to know there's a difference. You're not going to know there's other options. You're going to sign up. And then six months later, you're going to meet with me and say, what the hell? I got screwed. What is this? Right? So when you're building out your investment portfolio, your savings portfolio, and you're actually looking at how do I make my money grow, I want you to realize if you structure a whole life insurance the right way, we call it the sacred account. When you structure it the right way, it's actually a phenomenal place to put money. Okay, it's gonna have a, a six to eight percent gross annual dividend. It's gonna grow tax free. You can borrow against it. You can earn the rate of return while you borrow. And it's really like better than the bank, better than your 401k. It's not the investment account. So if you're being pitched, put a bunch of money into whole life insurance policy so you can retire on it, that's not gonna work either. That's like saying put, your, put a bunch of your money in into a high yield savings account and hope you can retire. If you don't invest that money, it's not gonna really do much for you. So we use whole life insurance as a savings tool. You put a bunch of money into it, borrow against it, use it to acquire an income producing asset, and then you're gonna take that asset and generate income from it, and you're gonna save that income and do it again. That's the right way to use whole life insurance. So if you're watching this today and what I said interests you, maybe it directly conflicts with everything you thought was true about whole life insurance. Maybe you're just not sure about how any of this stuff works and you want somebody to help. I want to make you an offer. You can reach out to me. It's called uh, the link I'm going to post here is called sacredaccount.com. And that's going to give you one of two options. Number one, you can go there and just learn. Like it's free information. We literally have policies that you can look at. Like what does the actual numbers look like on a real life insurance policy? It's not a bunch of claims. You can go look at what a policy actually looks like, like line by line on the numbers. You can watch videos about how they work, how we put them together. So you can go there and just learn. Number two, if you learn and you go there and you're like, yep, this is something I'm definitely interested in. You can also reach out to me. Okay, my team is very professional in, in making sure that we answer your questions, we get you the information you're looking for, and if you think it makes sense to work with us, we can do that too. So go to sacredaccount.com. I hope that this video gives you some insight today. Have a great day. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.